In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And with your spirit. As you all know that we have once again resumed the ordinary season, and we are beginning with the eighth week of the ordinary season of the liturgical year. Mostly we are keen on uh, get, receiving favors from God, and very little that we are particular or keen about give, showing our gratitude to God and paying homage to God and showing our love to God. Now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this great mystery of love, let us recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as the Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your dear beloved Son we may abound in good works. This we ask of you through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. A man multiplies offerings by keeping the law. He offers communion sacrifices by following the commandments. By showing gratitude, he makes an offering of fine flow. By giving alms, he offers a sacrifice of praise. Withdraw from wickedness and the Lord will be pleased. Withdraw from injustice, and you make atonement. Do not appear empty-handed in the Lord's presence, for all these things are due under the commandment. A virtuous man's offering graces the altar, and its savor rises before the Most High. A virtuous man's sacrifice is acceptable. Its memorial will not be forgotten. Honor the Lord with generosity. Do not stint the first fruits you bring. Add a smiling face to all your gifts and be cheerful as you dedicate your tithes. Give to the Most High as He has given to you generously as your means can afford. For the Lord is a good rewarder. He will reward you seven times over. Offer him no bribe. He will not accept it. Do not put your faith in an unvirtuous sacrifice, since the Lord is a judge who is no respecter of personages. The word of the Lord. I will show God's salvation to the upright. Summon before me my people who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice, for he, God, is the judge. I will show God's salvation to the upright. 
Listen, my people, I will speak, Israel. I will testify against you, for I am God, your God. I find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God and render him your votive offerings. A sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me and I will show God's salvation to the upright. Alleluia like bright stars because you are offering it the word of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 10, verses 28 to 31. What about us? Peter asked Jesus. We have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, I tell you solemnly, there is no one who has left house, brothers, sisters, father, children, or land for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel, who will not be repaid a hundred times over houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and land, not without persecution, now in this present time and in the world to come eternal. Many who are first will be last, and the last first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, for the praise and glory of and God's glory name. name for our, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen race, 
and by his suffering cancelled out our sins, and by his rising from the dead, he has op opened the way to eternal life, and by, according, uh, by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Holy Lord, Holy Lord God our host, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come. come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope, Paul our Bishop, and all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles, Saint Francis, Saint Clare, Saint Anthony, Saint Padre Pio, and all those saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's call God our Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he does not the temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. And forever. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, you said, our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to see you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. But only say the word, and my soul shall be Look toward the Lord and be radiant. Let your face not be abashed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God.